been talking about this downloadable game called From Dust. So naturally, I had to check it out to see what all all the uproar was about. I was a little, I did, actually I didn't know what I was getting into, so I was a little confused with the demo, but quickly got addicted. So basically, and and I have played the full game. I was when I first started out, it was on the demo, but I have played the full game. Um, so it is essentially a god game, but in such a different type of way of explaining God game. It's not your sim game. It's nothing like that. You're actually the breath of the land, and you can pick up, like, orbs of dirt or, or sand and move them to create walls or to create an environment that where the trees can grow. And you're basically trying to get these totems and have a city built up around them. So you direct your your little um, I can't remember what they're called your your villagers to a totem, and different totems will have different powers. Like some will allow you to pick up more of whatever you're picking up at the time: lava, water, dirt, sand. You can pick up more and let go of more for a certain amount of time. Turn water into jelly, evaporate water. Pretty much, you know, each totem has all these different powers. And it's a very, very hard game. It is so hard, but so addicting and so rewarding when you finally open up the portal and you get your, your villagers to the portal and that's how you, you get to go to the next land. But it is really, really difficult. Walls. And with lava, it seems like you need to use a lot more of it to build up a surface, at least on this first wall. Um, then it, it takes the sand. A lot of the different levels are all kind of like you have a time constraint not really to the point where there's a timer counting down but there was I think it's like the, the third level maybe the fourth where you're first introduced to lava and there's this constant uh, like tidal wave that comes in and you have to build up a wall so the water doesn't come in but you're timed because the volcano keeps erupting and every time it erupts more lava comes down and eventually it will take over your your uh, your village or camp your little, yeah, your little camp, your settlement, whatever. It'll take it over and burn everything away to where you just can't build there anymore. And once you lose that totem, you know, you pretty much have to start over again. So you are timed, but just the dynamics and each different way that you can take over each totem and build the city and finally get through the requirements of each level is just really, really creative. Like, this is one of the most creative games I've seen in a while. And it really does take that God game genre and just changes the game completely. It's not your generic, you know, sim type of game. This is really, really different. And I'm still having such a hard time explaining it. And even playing it, I would have a hard time explaining it. There's just so many different things going on, so many different possibilities, so many different ways to end each level. And um, I really, really recommend it. It's a lot of fun, very hard. Don't go into this thinking you're going to beat each level in like 30 minutes. I seriously have spent two hours on a level before, which adds to the gameplay in itself. And I, I just don't know which type of gamer to recommend this to, because it is such a different type of genre and a different type of game. There's really nothing I can think of um, off the top of my head that I can compare this game to and say, oh, it's like this, or oh, it's like that. If you like this, you'll like this. But... This is completely different. Like, it's not like anything I can really put my finger on and explain. My only complaint with From Dust was the villagers themselves were really stupid. There were a lot of times where I would build a path for them to get from one totem to the next, so they can, or one totem to a secret, or whatever they were getting to. I'd build them a path, and although the little path liner, there's just like little flips of light that shows the path that they're going to go on, there were many of those flips of light um, where it shows that they could pass, it's blue, because red means they can't pass something you need to fix. It'd be blue, 
and they'd just be standing there yelling at me in their little their little tribe gibberish that they couldn't get through. And I would lose a level because I couldn't get them through in time, even though the game told me that they had a safe passage to where I was trying to get them to. So the villagers and the tribesmen are, are really stupid sometimes. I was very get very frustrated with their AI. I could have I would have liked a little bit smarter AI. The graphics are really, really nice, and the overall physics of the game, the way the water moves, the way the sand kind of settles, and the way the lava rolls, all of that was really, really good. I mean, basically breathtaking on just the physics of the game and the graphics of it. It's a very beautiful game, and even though it's extremely hard, at the same time, it's very calming in a, in a very strange way with villagers screaming and dying. It's... <laughs> And in a very strange way, it's, its difficulty is also very calming just because of the sounds and the, the way the game plays. It's not very hectic. But it is, don't think it's going to be easy because it's very hard. I was surprised at how hard this game was. I kept hearing people say it was hard, and I was like, whatever. It's not going to be hard for me. But it kicked my ass. But it kicked my ass in the most loving way possible. I would recommend everybody, no matter what kind of gamer you are, to download the demo and give it a try. So I do think that this game reaches out to many different types of gamers. Many, many different types. It's not just one type or genre that would like this. Download that demo and give it a try, and I'm pretty positive you're going to get hooked. And you're going to be purchasing it pretty much right away.